Chapter 19 Blind Man's Bluff I sometimes find it hard to work with that music playing in my ears. Sometimes I even find it hard to sleep. I thought if I had to lose either vision or hearing, a big part of me prefers to keep the latter. Music is the highest form of art, in my opinion in spite of my inability to compose a symphony. Part 1. The New Job I did this experimental travel. The experiment required that I had at least one friend with me. Fortunately, I was able to drag two, Anna and Mark. I was going to write an article about dining and lodging. Mark was the photographer. I invited Anna as a sort of guide because she talks a lot and I figured that would be useful for someone sightless. It was a three-day trip. We had free lodging all set up because the trip was sponsored by a travel magazine. The editor gave me the go signal to leave on a Friday. But we soon found out that she never got explicit confirmation from the different hotels and inns that was supposed to be a part of our itinerary. We also soon found out that she didn't have confirmation from the different restaurants we were supposed to review. The editor was Mark's friend. So I asked Mark to speak with her and ask what had happened and what should we do now. We ended up bunking in a hut for our first night, Mark's idea. It was 20 minutes away from the city. It was a pretty cool place and the air was fresh. But as soon as we got our bags inside, we headed back to the city where we had our lunch and dinner. Surprisingly, that day, we were able to convince two restaurants to cook a meal for us the next day in exchange for a magazine review. And our magazine editor followed through by the end of that day to get us free lodging for the next two nights. We waited for sunset before heading back to our hut and cleaned up for bedtime. The shower was outside of the hut, but it was clean and there was a heater, which I never figured out how to turn on. It was December up in the mountains, but the low ceiling hut was cozy.